Wonderful. This is how you know you have family. Ready? Ken, what's the name of the cake? Bangkoken. Perfect. Yeah. The Christmas dirt is part of Hallmark Channel's annual Christmas keepsake holiday event. Paige, what's the name of the cake? Bangkoken. Perfect. Good. Thank you. Make sure to watch the premiere this Saturday night on Hallmark Channel. Was Wonderful. I wrong? You, you were right. You were right. right. Yeah. 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 So, JJ, back to the matter at hand. After seeing that lovely clip of the movie, is there a more simple way to make a bamkuchen? There is, because actually the original way is to make it on a spit, and there are only three of these spits in the United States. It's a very rare treat. Wow. And because the spit gives you a vertical stripe, that's impossible if you, wanna, if you don't want to ruin your barbecue. So I found a way to do it with a cheesecake pan, and some batter and a spatula of and a broiler. you did. I did. <laughs> and a broiler. And you got started about two and a half weeks ago. No. <laughs> so why don't we just take a look at two days ago. Okay, it is a labor a of love. Okay, it here's is. what I shot at home. <laughs> all right, so first of all, we preheat our broiler. And this is marzipan, which is almond paste mixed with some cream. And then into this, we put some soft butter and then sugar. That's it. Just and then it some egg yolks. Yeah. So we, it's a very rich, eggy batter. Then some great vanilla. And then orange zest, which gives it a really bright, fresh flavor. And then this is a mixture of self-rising flour and cornstarch, which gives this structure. And then we beat up our egg whites that are left over from the yolks to stiff peaks. I've taught you all this before. Yes. And we fold these all in very gently. And then we get our Sailor Jerry's rum and our orange marmalade oh, and a little bit yeah. of the orange juice from there. <laughs> and this is our this is our little basting liquid. So we brush the dough or the batter out to the edge of the cheesecake pan and don't use nonstick because it's not meant for that. We use an aluminum one. Okay. I set my timer for three minutes, but it took 45 seconds for this to be golden brown. Oh my goodness. And so you so literally fast. have to keep a vigil by your oven and with every layer. You pull it out at this stage, and then every third layer, we put the marmalade and the rum mixture on there, and that adds moisture and flavor to the cake. And as we get to the higher levels of the cake, the broiling time is shorter because the cake is closer to the flame. And then so we literally at 30 seconds. Literally. And then <laughs> the last layer, after we broil it, we put the remainder of this beautiful rum and marmalade mixture on, and we refrigerate the cake overnight so all the flavors can set. Wow. And I did this on a 110 degree day, I'm telling you. It is my <laughs> All that work. I just say, I'm to that. <laughs> All that work and it disappears so quickly. That's right. okay. Okay. Now the ganache. Yes. Yeah, so the ganache Yum. is very easy. For as many ounces of chocolate as you have, you have the same number of ounces of whipping cream. Okay, one to mm. one. And you pour that in there and let it sit mm. for about a minute or so until the chocolate softens and then you so whisk good. it with your whisk. Mm. And we have some made here already, and I'm going to bring my. Oh my goodness! This is like bomb. Whisk it in. Yeah. See when you make it so many times, it makes it dry. Yeah, I know. It's so angelic. You have impressed the Iron Chef. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? And then, if you if you want to look at this, it doesn't look so pretty. Actually, um, I think it looks beautiful. But when we unmold it. Oh my goodness, it's wow. 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 And before you pour the ganache on, you just want to take your hands and just get all the little kibbles and bits on the sides to lay down. Dr. JJ, should we use the warm ganache? I think we should use this one. I think it's a little cooler. Okay, then and we're then gonna lick this bowl the in a minute. Is, <laughs> the key is to have a refrigerated cake so that this sets up rather quickly. Oh. And so we can just have fun oh with this goodness. fantasy chocolate fountain here. Oh my God. Wow. That's gorgeous. Wow. And then you Everybody, just, just for a second, be quiet. I want to hear it. You want to hear it? I just want to oh. hear the... You want to hear the angels? Put a little... Um, a um, speck of salt in that chocolate because that oh, helps it listen to the sound. bring out oh, yeah. those beautiful flavors. flavors. We always say that little Maldon so salt how long does the whole magic. Thing actually, take you. Um, by the time I made the fourth one yesterday, it was about 25 minutes. So oh, actually, yeah, it wasn't bad, but you know, at first it's kind of intimidating, but practice does make perfect. Yeah. 